Hello students, I'm Ms. Brandt and I'm responsible for the ecology part in which you have to do a mini SAS as one of your compulsory reports. I'm going to explain to you in a number of series of podcasts how to do this. What is the mini SAS? Mini SAS is a simple method that we could use to identify macroinvertebrates and use them to determine the health of a river. Of course, we are also going to do some physical parameter measurements to help us in that and also determine the integrity of the habitat. The macroinvertebrates are small organisms that live in water and we can use them to determine or tell us what the state of the river is because of their sensitivity to pollution. Why is it important for us to have clean rivers? As you know that South Africa is a water scarce country and our rivers are very important sources of water for a number of not only people, but industries, agriculture, and we have to look after our water. So we have to make sure that the river systems are clean and healthy for us to use that water. Before we go to the river, we need to prepare some personal equipment and also some of the equipment need, that we need to sample in the river. Personal equipment means clothing that you need to wear that is suitable to work in water, like gumboots, or a wader if you have one. You don't have to have a wader. Gumboots are sufficient. You also need to make sure that you have, cl you have clothing that can get wet because you will get wet. For your own personal safety, you should not go on your own and work in groups of two, at least two people. What are the equipment or the different things that we need? You need a net. You can, uh, you can make your own net or buy one, a small one that children use to fish in, a, in the river. We need a white container or a tray or even a, a plastic ice cream container. You need a pencil to write on your data sheet. You need a magnifying glass if you have. You need hand wash and, or soap so that you can wash your hands properly when you get out of the river.